Hey, this is Steve from Infernal Madison, and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News update. Asking Alexandria's tour bus was hit by an apparent drunk driver as they headed for Las Vegas, Nevada this weekend. Danny Warsnop stated, We're all okay besides a couple of back aches. The trailer is effed, the bus has heavy damage, and the other car he hit is destroyed. Ben Bruce shared pictures on the net of the accident, uh, and their new album, From Death to Destiny, will be out later this year. And Limp Biscuit posted a new rehearsal video of their first ever, quote, live performance of the song Hold On. The song is off Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavored Water and has a guest appearance by Scott Wayland, uh, ex-Stone Temple Pilots vocalist. Their new album, Stampede of the Disco Elephants, is out later this year. Check out the link in the description to watch the video. Pro shot footage of Queens of the Stone Age's March 30th concert is now on YouTube. Uh, the show was at the 2013 Lollapalooza Brazil Festival in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Queens of the Stone Age, are uh, they performed a new song titled My God is the Sun at the festival. Uh, they played with new drummer John Theodore, ex Mars Volta. And their new album, Like Clockwork, is out in June. Check out the link in the description to watch the video. And disturbed device vocalist David Draymond has a cameo on the new Megadeth album, Super Collider. Dave Mustaine recently tweeted, Big thanks to David Draymond for vocal singing help on Super Collider. Can't wait to see device live. Also, Dave Mustaine stated he has the lineup for the 2013 uh, Gigant Tour. He stated, Finalize the bands for Dragon Tour 2013 and have to admit I am hella pr- impressed. Details coming soon. So stay tuned for that. We'll post that when we get it. Stone Sour released audio clips of new songs from their new album, House of Golden Bones Part 2. They are songs 82, The Uncanny Valley, and Blue Smoke. Uh, House of Golden Bones Part 2 is out April 9th through Roadrunner Records. Check out some audio clips of those three new songs in the links in the description. Good news for Opeth fans, and hopefully it's a little heavier, but Opeth are in the process of writing their new album. Uh, Guitarist Frederick advised loudmag.com that the new material is is, quote, in a somewhat different direction to Heritage. It won't be a step back, but it will be different, maybe more intense in a way. Good news. You'll have to wait and see. Uh, I was in the studio today and put down my solos, and I was very happy about it. The song I heard that Mikel wrote today sounds very cool. I think that's all I can say at this point. So that sounds good. It looks like it might be headed in the right direction. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.